at ringside, Mr. James J. Dillon, Tully Blanchard, Tully Blanchard Enterprises, and the administrative director, Mr. James J. Dillon. Well, I hear these fans chanting, I quit, I quit. It gives me a headache. It upsets Mr. Blanchard. And frankly, it's totally uncalled for. Now it's getting out of hand. Shut up. Totally getting out of hand. You know, the boogeyman, Jimmy Bay, has got a lot of this. He's the man responsible for a lot of it. He comes out here and he gets these people riled up. They start chanting. Now, he may have ruffled my feathers a little bit, but there's no way he's going to take a seasoned professional like Mr. Blanchard and break his concentration, that's for sure. Because we know how to deal with people like Jimmy Vine, and if you take a good close in look at your screen. Clothes, in my street clothes, I'm taking one of the top professionals in the sport and taking him around, throwing him into the post, going to drop him right on his head. And the end of Jimmy Vine is very near, I'm telling you that. James J. Right there, down. Huh. History right there. Put that camera. That's all they need to see. Put the camera back over here. You know, James J has negotiated uh, Jimmy Valiant's run to Jim Crocker Promotions, wants tape fist matches. He wants this and that and the other. I said, James, that's fine with me because they don't call me the 60-minute man for nothing. Now, Jimmy Valiant, if you think that you've got what it takes to put five pounds of tape and make your hands as hard as his rock and his stone you can, you get in the ring for those 15 three-minute rounds because Jackson Brown, you're going to be like Tony Tubbs trying to look for a place to hide when it's all over with. All right, fans, we'll be right back after we take this brief time out.